my channel and today's video is a upcycle video I'm gonna be upcycling something that I found on Facebook marketplace so if you're interested in seeing what it is then keep on watching so I found this little cabinet on Facebook it was not very exciting as it stood but I saw a vision of turning it into a beautiful bar cabinet so I'm gonna give you a little tour of the item now and talk you through my plans so this is the cabinet in question. This was a Facebook marketplace purchase. It was 15 pounds. Originally it was listed on there for 40 and I was like, I wasn't sure, but it obviously didn't sell and so they reduced it down to 15 and so I snapped it up. I just thought this would make an absolutely beautiful little bar cabinet. It's got some really good things about it. So I'm gonna give you a little look at it and also talk you through my plans. So one of the first things I love about it is this design on the door. It's kind of like um, a fake woody veneer. Um, but I love this kind of herringbone-y design. The whole thing is very bashed, very um, marked, but the bones are there of like a really cute um, wooden detail and I really, really want to keep that. So I'm hoping that I can sand this back very lightly like I did with my friend's um, little drawer unit and uh, reveal this lovely um, herringbone or striped design and then lightly restain it and yeah hopefully just restore this and make it look a lot nicer and make it a feature of the whole thing also I've obviously got to try and match the two doors they're ever so slightly ones much more faded it could just be the way the light's hitting it but no um so that's one of the big things I want to do Obviously, I'm going to change the handles um, to some cute little, probably gold, let's be honest, knobs. Um, and I also need to fix the door. So, the door is actually, both doors have a really nice and still operational um, ball catch, which is great. And they shut really well, um, but they don't shut level. And so one of the things I did when I first got it was I just took the screws out of the little hinge there and um, just tested that if I moved them forwards that I could level up the door. So that's going to be a bit of a job as well. I'm going to fill those existing holes down there and once the whole thing's painted I'm going to drill some new holes a little bit further forward so I can just push the door forwards and line them both up. So I'll try and show you what it's like now. So at the moment it's like this. It's not huge, uh, but it bugs me. <laughs> and I do actually, I am restoring this and doing it up to sell it. So I want it to be perfect. So that's another job. Then my plan is, so at the sides, we've got this um, f horrid fakey veneer again. And on the top, this sort of 50s, 60s melamine, uh, which is red. So, but round the front, we have this really nice black trim. Down here it is chipped, there's a big chip there, so I'm going to have to filler that uh, with some pretty heavy duty filler and um, straighten that off. But my plan is actually to paint the whole surround apart from the doors, all the sides and everything black. I've got a really nice black paint that I'm going to use and then it's got these really cute feet. They're quite chunky but they're grey. Um, so I'll be painting this base plate uh, black but I'm gonna paint the feet gold, of course. Some lovely gold feet to match the gold handles. Then inside, it's just completely open and very chipboardy. Um, so I'm gonna paint the inside of the doors black. I'm gonna keep this wooden trim to there. So I'm gonna mask around and just paint the door um, insides black. And then the inside of the cabinet, I want to give it a bit more usage. So I'm going to put a shelf in, uh, sort of just over halfway up. So you can still fit bottles underneath and you could put glasses and things on top. So a shelf's going to go in. I'm also going to put a mirror in the back to reflect um, light. I think bar cabinets look amazing with mirrors at the back. And I think I'm going to paint the sides gold. So the base black, the roof black, the back mirrored, 
two gold sides and a black shelf in there and I think that's gonna look incredible. Um, so that's my plans. I'm hoping that it will be a really, really fun and slightly unique little piece of furniture. I don't really know what its purpose was um, before. But that's the purpose I'm going to give it. And you know how much I love an upcycle. And I love to rescue things that are maybe going to head to the skip. Let's crack on. One of my first jobs is going to be to remove the doors so that I can sand them back. Uh, and then give the whole thing a clean and a hoover. And then it will be um, probably measuring up for the shelf and drilling those holes and whatnot before I paint it. And then a good coat of black paint. <laughs> Okay, so I've sanded one of the doors. Here's the comparison. I've used very, very fine grade sandpaper because you don't want to take it too far. All you want to do is just take off this top layer of varnish. I've been using 240 and actually using my orbital sander on a slightly lower speed. It just stops you going too far, but it's beautiful. You can see the striping, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm going to sand the other door. I've done all the sides as well. Then I'm going to paint the uh, reverse black. So I'm going to keep this wooden trim here, mask around that, paint all this black on both of them. And then I will, once I've done the black, just give them another light sand before I then... I don't know whether I'm going to oil them or, or what. I haven't decided yet. Um, probably oil um, but yeah, really super pleased with that. That didn't take long. Uh, but yeah, you have to give it another light sand because it does sort of, you have to be careful of finger marks once you've taken all of the varnish off. So I have taped um, my doors. This is the inside. So I've taped along that bit um, that is the nice wood like the outside. I'm gonna paint the rest of this black like the rest of the cabinet. Ignore my washing machine. This is the paint I'm gonna use. Um, I I think I've mentioned this quite a lot on Instagram, but probably not too much here um, on YouTube. This is Sophie James uh, Decor Paint. It's actually a local company uh, to here in Essex. It's such a nice finish. It's got a built-in wax, um, so it just it dries really, really nice. And I think this is going to be a super nice finish for this cabinet. Really hard wearing, and it's got amazing coverage. I'm hoping I'm only going to need two coats. So this is what the whole cabinet's going to be, and then obviously the inside gold. So I'm going to start painting the inside. I've sanded it all, filled it and sugar soaked it. I'm actually going to be painting the two side walls gold. So I'm going to do that first. When all that's dry, I can mask it off and then I can paint the black. So the gold I'm going to use, Rust-Oleum uh, metallic finish, furniture paint in gold. I reckon it's going to take a couple of coats um, to get it nice and neat and um, nice and thick. So yeah, I'm going to do that while I watch some TV tonight and then tomorrow it'll be time to do all the black areas. So last night I painted the inside of the cabinet, the two sides gold, and it just wasn't a good finish. And I should have known, uh, back from my theatre days, whenever I used to see the painters, the scenic artists use gold, they always painted a base colour, usually actually red. 
um, to create that sort of solid colour underneath. And when I painted just the gold straight onto this sort of chipboard, all you could see was the chipboard. So today I've actually painted a coat of Annie Sloan Barcelona Orange. I'm actually going to do two coats of this, uh, just a little uh, tin I've got. Uh, but you could do red or any kind of base colour just to make the gold a bit richer underneath. So two coats of that orange on each side to get a nice solid finish. Then I'm going to very, very lightly sand it so it's literally an immaculate finish. And then I'm going to try painting the gold again. Okay, so here's my bit of wood for my inner shelf. And lying in bed last night, I decided that I wanted to cut it into a bit of a shape. So I made a little um, cardboard template to make sure it's the same on each side. But essentially, I want to cut a little curve to it uh, or out of it um, so that it doesn't dominate the entire cabinet and also so that you could stand. It's already shallower than the cabinet. It's not going to fill the whole cabinet. But so you can stand bottles that are taller. And you could stand them here in this sort of recess. So that's the plan. It's quite a um, scrappy piece of wood. Um, but I already had it and it's the right thickness. And I'm going to fill up all of this and sand it all. And then it is going to get painted. So you won't really tell that it's a little bit... Uh, battered but yeah I'm going to attack this with my jigsaw now but very carefully I want this to be really really super neat and then I'm going to use my sander to uh, curve off the edges so now that the inside is painted orange I've put a first coat of gold on it's going to take quite a few coats to get a really nice rich gold finish um, but the other thing I'm going to need to do is to get the mirror in is a little bit of a tight squeeze. So I'm going to um, fit the mirror in the back and then mask the mirror off um, so that I can continue to paint the cabinet and also put the little um, shelf battens in. Because obviously once I put the shelf battens in, I won't be able to get the mirror in. So everything's sort of got to happen in a particular order. But yeah, I reckon a couple of coats of gold then put the mirror in, then attach the battens, um, which I'll also probably paint gold. I just need to decide what colour to do the shelf. I don't know whether to do the shelf black. The base is going to be black. So I, my instinct is that the shelf should be black. But yeah, it's looking a bit scruffy at the moment, but I can see the vision. I definitely have the vision in my mind. Um, so yeah, let's get the jigsaw out. So I'm going to start cutting my, these are my battens that are going to go inside in order to rest the shelf on. Um, so I'm going to have to cut them to size, quite a bit shorter than the shelf so you don't see them. Then I'm going to use my mitre saw to cut them at an angle. Pre-drill some holes, this one's already got one in. Pre-drill holes that are countersunk as well so when I put the screws in they're nice and flush. And then I'll need to paint these as well orange and gold to match the sides so then there's going to be a mirror going in the back here is the mirror uh, it's already cut to size um it's a scratched in a couple of places it's just a um plastic mirror acrylic mirror so i'm actually going to do a bit of a gold leaf effect on it and i am also going to bead it around the outside so you don't see the slightly dodgy um edges but what i'm going to do is i'm going to cover this up and mask the edges then glue it in and then I can paint all inside the cabinet and when I'm finished painting inside I can pull the tape off and the um, the cover probably newspaper and the mirror won't have any marks on it so that's my two next jobs
it is quite a few weeks later. I had to shelve the project while I got on with something else, but I'm gonna carry on with it. So this is where I'm up to. Um, I've painted the inside gold. The shelf is painted black, ready to go in. Um, I've peeled off all the newspaper off the mirror in the back. So my next jobs are, oh, excuse me, while I just get this very long piece of wood. So I've bought this trim from Wix. It is a little, it's got a sort of right angle on it and then it is just a curve. And that is basically gonna go along the back to hide this uh, mirror join. So I'm gonna need to paint this gold and cut it to size with nice little mitered corners and then glue that in. Then my next job, oh look, you're gonna be able to see me. My next job is going to be, um, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but the mirror has quite a few scratches and things on it. And what I wanna do is create a bit of a sort of distressed gold effect mirror instead of it being this perfect mirror at the back. So I'm gonna use a mixture of uh, gold, the gold paint, which I'm going to stipple on, and then I've got gold leaf as well. So there's going to be a sort of distressed gold leaf effect um, on this mirror, sort of concentrated in certain areas. But I need to put this trim on first um, because the gold leaf effect is actually going to probably touch onto the trim. Then once I've done that, um, then I'm going to uh, repaint the, or give the final coat of black to the roof of the cabinet, black the bottom of the cabinet and the top, uh, finish, you know, painting all of that. And um, then it'll be time to oil the doors. So yeah, I want to smash this cabinet out now and get it listed and sold and get it out of my house because it's just been sat in my house. So next couple of days crack this job out and hopefully be able to show you the finished cabinet. So yeah, let's get going. Okay, so I wasn't actually able to film um, me gold leafing because I was having to pretty much like crawl inside the cabinet. Um, so there was no way to get the camera in here. So I thought I would show you what I've done. I've only done a little bit, I've got to add a bit of a paint effect as well, but what I'm trying to do is create this kind of distressed gold effect on the mirror. So at the moment I've just done a few patches and then I am actually going to sponge using gold paint and create a whole yeah distressed effect, but I thought I'd show you what I've been using. So I've been using the Annie Sloan loose um, gold leaf what you do is you use this stuff called size and uh, it's essentially like glue um, but it goes very very tacky and what you do is you paint it on uh, where you want patches of the gold to be and you leave it to go tacky and then you apply these gold sheets now I've used quite a few so let's find one I haven't used they come in a little booklet they're very fine and delicate you basically lay them onto the size, onto the glue, and then you leave it a little bit to go off and then you brush all the excess off. And then you're left with sort of, yeah, like a patchy effect. So what I'm gonna do now is I've painted my little trims. I'm going to glue my trims in around the bottom and then, yeah, get onto the painting of black. But I'm sorry I couldn't film the actual gold leaf in it. It's a very, very tight cabinet, as you can see, to get into. And it was kind of trial and error. I wasn't 100% sure what I was doing. I may add some more to the middle, but I also need to put the shelf in and see, because obviously the shelf is gonna cut half of the effect off. So yeah, anyway, I do enjoy a bit of gold leafing, but it does make one hell of a mess. This is all the excess that's brushed off. I keep these little bits, because you can still glue these on so I may add some of these on. Now I'm going to use some good old Gorilla Glue and glue this trim into the bottom.
So I've got one of the doors on. I'm just going to pop the handle on because obviously I won't be able to get the door open if I don't. I thought I'd just show you the handles. So I got these a while ago from HomeSense, I think. Um, and it's a set of four. And I've had to slightly chop the thread down because they were a little bit too long. But they're like a gold and marbly blacky grey effect so I think they're going to look really really nice so I'm going to pop this onto the one door and it is finished I'm so happy with it I hope you guys like it as well so um, I've put both handles on I've also I don't know if you remember when I first showed you the cabinet the um this door didn't sit level with this door so i have ever so slightly just adjusted this hinge um just so that it sits level um the doors have just they've come up absolutely beautiful but they are funny um depending on what angle the light hits them at they do slightly change color so one can look darker than the other depending on the angle of the light but anyway Handles look beautiful, super happy with them. Doors have just got a light coat of wax on them, but they've come up so, so nice. Gold feet. One of the things I didn't show you was I did it off camera. I actually added some of these to the bottom of each foot so that um, it protects the floor. Uh, these are just cheap Wilco ones. They're self-adhesive, but that works great. So yeah, so, and then one of the other things I did was I just gave everything a bit of a, a rub down with a cloth with a tiny, tiny bit of wax on. You don't have to wax this paint, um, but I did wax the top just because obviously if people want to put like a drinks tray or anything on the top there, that'll help protect it. So there you go, you can see the finish there and the gold legs. And then inside, so... I've already taken my pictures to list it on Facebook, so I actually have um, already filled it with stuff. So the ball catches are still working great, the doors catch great, the hinges are working great, and yeah, I've put some bits inside to sort of stage it of how people could have it uh, if they're going to have it in their house. So obviously we've got the upper shelf uh, where you could put your glasses and things. Then you've got this curve in the shelf so that you can put taller bottles here at the front and smaller bottles down at the back. You've got an ice bucket in there. You can put all so many things in there. And obviously you've got that really nice sort of distressed gold at the back. But you've got a bit of a mirrored effect, which I think looks really, really nice. And you can see up at the top the beading that I did and all the gold finish on the sides. The gold leaf kind of carries on a little bit over in this corner. And then the inside of the doors, I've got a bit of wax on them. So they've got a slight sheen to them, but also that keeps them protected. But I think it has come out beautiful. I'm slightly sad it's not staying in my house, but I just don't have room for it. And I never, I never bought it to keep it was always going to be a project and it has been a bit of a labor of love but I hope you like it I'd love to know in the comments what you think give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this little makeover and I'm going to get on listing it on Facebook marketplace now and hopefully it will sell and somebody will put it in their house and love it so I will see you again next time bye